Good morning, Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome to this reading. This is something new to me I'm trying. I'm going to alternate the videos on YouTube with one set of individual signs. That's videos dealing with each of the signs individually. And then I'm going to alternate that with collective signs air signs, fire signs, water signs, earth signs. At this moment it's the time for the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's see what's going on with you. Universe, angels, spirits, guides. What's going on with the earth signs please? Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. What do they need to know? Please. Universe, what's going on with the Earth signs, please? Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Messages, please. Here we go, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. very nice cards to start with ace of cups queen of wands well somebody's showing feelings or they want to upgrade from a friendship level they've been kind of waiting they've been kind of strategizing on the best way to approach you this type of person is very extrovert and very Put on a lot of bravado, but they're very sensitive inside. At the same time, they're very self-contained and appear very, very... Well, they are very confident, actually. This could be a work colleague. Suddenly showing more than friendship. As I say, they've been waiting... Could have been somebody that you've worked with a while this even could be somebody you've dealt with in the past or are still dealing with they've got a lot of passion for you though this queen of wands very very passionate charismatic fairly easy going Mm. Five of Swords, Sun card. Mm. Now, the challenge for you is who and what to let go of in your life. You could be in a connection. This could be a person outside of a stable situation you're in with somebody. And... Now the difficulty is who and what to let go of because now you're concentrating on your happiness. This person also sees a lot of happiness with you. If there's a rift with this person, you can expect that rift or the chance for that rift to be healed and I say the chances because of course free will you know it's whatever you decide you want to do with it now I'm getting that you've had some disruptive arguments with this person and I'm picking up kind of two scenarios. Either this person wants to come back after a lot of regrets and wishing they hadn't had some fights with you or a particular fight where there was a parting of the ways. Or they still want to come back, but you have got somebody new. You're showing interest in somebody else. 
because there's a lot of communication to and fro. And for some of you, I'm picking up distance. Take this out, resonate. It is only a general read. transformation going on here purification somebody is I feel they're becoming very in tune with their selves the high priestess here the universe is throwing in a spiritual choice here and with this death card whoever it is you're dealing with there's an ending as I say they could have ended a relationship or a connection therein to be with you but there's an underlining scenario as I said you could have found for new love in the interim this person has been doing a lot of work on their self possibly you as well you know when we have fights with somebody who we're connected to even on a friendship level we, we learn so much about ourselves as well as about them. Ooh, hi. Loving connection here. Wow. Water energy. So you've got water energy around you and fire energy. Interesting. well been a soulmate that you was dealing with and they didn't like to show their feelings like all kings their masters are hiding their feelings in tarot the kings are generally introverts and the queens are generally extroverts you know the queens they tend to talk about their feelings more than the kings Kings, in a lot of ways, see it as a weakness. Mm, somebody here focused on work and their goals, and I feel this is you. Here you are. You are dealing with the earth signs. You feel you're trying to manifest certain goals for yourself. You're even throwing yourself and being focused on work. You, you're heading for a much more stable period in your life as I say there's a lot of communication there could, there's travel here and distance I'm picking up as well now for some of you, you who want to get together with this person you're working on solutions to overcome the distance and the complications Mm, yes, as I say, there's relocation here. Somebody from the past wants to come back in. Ten of Wands, this is communication. The, the blue and the yellow, communication over the airwaves. Yellow in tarot to me is generally a depiction of the air. The blue is very watery, but it's also part of the... It's a, it's the colour which represents the throat ch chakra. In other words, conversation. This person you're dealing with could well be suffering from back problems. You're picking up back problems for somebody here. But there is distance. Mm, somebody has a lot of regrets. As I say, there is an end in here and a transformation. Somebody here is certainly thinking they could have handled it differently. Mm. The connection is still alive. But I feel for some of you, you are concentrating on your work and you are turning your back on love. 
some of you are actually done with love at the, for the moment I'm not saying forever but for the moment but in the future you know this person wants to reconnect mm, same. you feel betrayed in a lot of ways look, look at you though becoming much more independent way way more independent you're concentrating on your future you're making peace with your past you're comfortable with your surroundings and things are starting to pick up for you now on the other scenario you're wondering about this person's motives i feel the intuition will need to kick in You'll be wondering why this person wants to come back in for whatever reason. You've got the moon card here. You know, there's a there's a definite feeling of elusiveness here. This person is, you know, at one time or still is, trying to kid themselves that, you know, it wasn't their fault. There's a bit of the blame game going on here. Mm, they walk it, they've walked away from something. But there's some lifestyle changes here. And I keep getting change of location, either for you or for them. Mm. Sagittarius energy here, fire energy. Third party influences, there could even be children involved. They've undergone a lot of transformation here. Yeah, this person, it's, I feel they want, to, they want to come back in on some level. They're also very, very materialistic. But they do not like the way this ended. And nor do you. There's some unfinished business here. I'm picking up karma. That needs to be sorted. Whatever you decide to do with this. Mm. There's a secret admiration here. But you are kind of taking a break. And some of you are thinking about, you know going solo and as I say you're done with romance and love and emotional connections for the time being the person you're dealing with is working on themselves a lot they're, they're working on stability the second chance is here judgment there's a major judgment call going on with you. As I say, lifestyle changes. Do you want to go live with them in another country or are they coming to live with you? Ooh. Emperor tried to turn then, let's see. Two more cards, please. Mm. A lot of changes going on. There's definitely no communication here at the moment. There's somebody here trying to reevaluate their feelings. I feel this is you. Somebody here is turning the back on a connection. You know, they're trying to maintain balance, even trying to juggle two situations. There is some differences between you, could be cultural differences, and it's 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 finding the middle ground between you and this person or one of these people you're dealing with. I hope that's helped in some kind of way and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.